Hello, my name is Christian Hasser. I'm president of the Association for Acute Cardiovascular Care. And today with me, I have David Atlam, who is uh, chair of our scientific study group on uh, SCAT. We have five different scientific groups, one on SCAT, one on cardiac arrest, one on quality indicators, one on acute heart failure, and one on biomarkers. All these study groups consist of world-class specialists, but also young doctors. And uh, today we'll focus on the SCAT study group. Dave, could you tell me a little, first a little bit about what SCAT actually is? Good morning. So SCAD is spontaneous coronary artery dissection, which is a condition which usually presents with acute myocardial infarction, so out of the blue, if you like, often affecting young to middle-aged women, a proportion of which, about 8% or so, um, are pregnant or postpartum at the time of the event. So it's a neglected group. We know that you know, women uh, are an under-researched area in cardiology, uh, and this is a condition which, you know, there's you know, a lot still to learn about it, and that's where the study group comes in. Sure. And uh, actually, is this a, a new disease? When I think back 10 years, uh, it, I hardly ever saw them, and today we see them every other week. So I think we know it's been described for many years, the first described cases back in the 1930s, but I think what's changed is that we now recognize the angiographic features of this, of this condition better. We're using more intracoronary imaging, so we're perhaps recognizing cases which previously went unrecognized, and obviously that's an important piece of progress to, in and of itself. Whether it's increasing overall, I think the jury's still out on that. Sure. When it comes to the study group itself, could you tell me a little bit about uh, why we need study groups and how you've used it? How have, has it helped you? So the study group for a condition like SCAD is completely critical because although it's not rare, it's not a common condition. And so if we're really going to start to address and answer questions about the cause of the disease and how we should clinically manage the disease and even contemplate clinical trials, we need everybody to be working together. Individual hospitals, even national groups, will not be seeing enough patients on their own for us really to be able to get to the, you know, the, the nitty gritty, if you like, of understanding the condition. And so the study group working together is the, is the means to achieve that. And could you tell us a little bit about what you have already achieved in, this, in, in your group? So we've drafted the first position statement, uh, European position statement on SCAD uh, a couple of years ago to sort of, if you like, state the baseline. We've been working together with our study group colleagues on genetics and published the first common gene variant for this condition. And we've also looked at clinical aspects, so uh, cardiac outcomes using cardiac MRI and intracoronary imaging and where that's best used and what you can find with that. So lots of different research. And also we're really focused at the moment on the EOP sponsored, ESC EOP sponsored SCAD registry. And we're hoping as many uh, groups and, and teams and hospitals will join that as, pos as possible um, to recruit patients into a large observational registry. And hopefully also ultimately that will give us the, if you like, the infrastructure to be able to work together in the future potentially on clinical trials. And, most important thing there is you can carry on recruiting patients to your own national studies and national registries, but recruit them into the ESC EOP registry as well, and we can make progress on a different scale uh, as well as on a national scale. And what is the status now of this? So the, 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 the registry is just up and running, just, just in the last few weeks. And so EOP are poised to help you with the ethics approval and, and, and uh, documentation aspects to get sites uh, up and running. So please make contact with me or make contact with them uh, and uh, you know, join the effort to really crack this disease. So let's this be an invitation to all of you to join these uh, registries run by the ESC. Now, um, as you see, this study group on SCAT has been very active just as the other study groups have, they do uh, scientific discussions, scientific documents like position papers, they do registries and they even do clinical studies as Dave told us. So I would also recommend that you 
see if there's any of the study groups that you want to belong to and consider to join these study groups. Thanks to Dave for joining us today. Thanks to all of you for listening. Bye-bye.